like time for Drew's news. Your cozy good news scarf keeping that little draft of bad news <laughs> off your neck. We won't have that here. There it is. And with me at the desk is my intrepid co-pilot, Rossi Ross Matthews. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Well, first up in the news, we've all been celebrating the life of the American comedy legend, Betty White. Oh. Yes. And now the Miami Herald reports that a new campaign is spreading in her honor. It's called the Betty White Challenge. And on January 17th, which would be her 100th birthday, fans are donating $5 to an animal charity of their choice in Betty's name oh. or going and actually adopting an animal. Yeah. And Betty always said that if she wasn't in show business, She'd be a zookeeper. Um, I have to say, when I think of Betty White, she is synonymous with pet rescue. Mm -hmm. And so I was watching, you know, all these things. I loved watching this one thing where they just said, you know, why do you think that you resonate with people so much? And she's like, you know, I can't see myself that way, which is so humble and what we love about her, she said. But I will say that I just think that kindness is everything. Mm. And I think if we could honor that kindness by supporting the things she loved and believed in and cared about the most, um, you know, rescuing animals and taking care of our four-legged friends. And what if you adopt one and name it Betty? <gasps> Yeah, there's going to be like a million little kitties and puppies named Betty just running around, and she would love that. Love I that. currently have, um, mm -hmm. do the math, five rescues at home. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to donate $5. <laughs> I love it. And I'm not letting my children know about this challenge at all. <laughs> well, you know, Betty did so much good, and, and people recently shared some of Betty's secret to a long life. We should all aim to live like she did. And at the top of her list, she says, accentuate the positive. That was important to her. Focus on what is positive. And I love this one too. Enjoy your junk food. Yeah. <laughs> Betty loved red vines, potato chips, hot dogs, and vodka. Sandra Bullock said, in honor of Betty White, I'm going to have a hot dog and a vodka tonight. Mm-hmm. And well, she also loved... According to people, she also loved red vines and potato chips. And really? we have them right here. Yeah, we got to live like Betty White a little bit. I right? don't know if this is weird, but whenever I would get red vines at the movie theater, I love to whip people with them. <laughs> Feel it. <laughs> it it kind of hurts, right? It kind of does Ouch. hurt. Stop it. I know. Ow. Ow. It hurts more than I thought it it's would. It's fun to go to the movie theater, though, and surprise your uh, friend with pain. Just a little whip. You are so twisted. You know, that. <laughs> I know. You know what I love what? about Betty White? Betty White walked through this earth for nearly a hundred years and told us all to be good people, but to enjoy ourselves and laugh. And I think the tone of her life is as perfect of a life that I've ever seen as long as I've been alive. Yeah. And I'm just grateful to Betty White because we're all better for her having been on this planet. Absolutely. That's a legacy. That is a legacy. Betty White is a tone and a life all of her own. Yeah, I know. I'll never forget her. I, you know, I got to meet her a few times and she was so wonderful. I got to work with her and she was just so kind and giving when, like, she's Betty White. And I was like, hi, oh, Betty White, you know. Do you have any Betty White stories? Well, she was just, she would come on The Tonight Show a lot. And remember, I worked on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno back Are in the day. Are you kidding? Yeah, you know. Hello, Ross, the intern. Yes. And she, um... She would come on and we would shoot these scenes together. And, you know, we did like 900 things in a day. So we would show up and be like, what are we doing now? And she was right there, knew her lines, knew her mark. She was like the total pro always. And she was like 85 at the time. And I mean, I remember thinking like, uh, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. I don't think there's anybody like her. No, and if you can do it with red vines, potato chips, vodka, and a hot dog, you're living your best life. I know. I love that she loved junk food, too. I know. You, we eat just a little bit of junk food around here. I don't know if you noticed. It's true. Uh, well, next we have a spicy little rumor that's heating up online. Okay, anyone here miss Kim Cattrall on the new Sex and the City and Just Like That? Any, you missing her? Yeah, it's...
it's weird without her, for sure. Well, if you're missing Samantha Jones in Style Report, she may be back in a crossover event on the next season of Emily in Paris. Let me explain. Here are the connections. Emily in Paris was created by Darren Starr, who also created Sex in the City. Oh, that's right. I didn't even put that together. Yes, and the fabulous costumes are done by legendary Patricia Field, who also did the costumes on Sex in the City for all those years. That's right. And both Emily and Samantha work in PR and happen to be living in Europe right now. So connect the dots, do the math, carry the one. Crossover. It could happen. <laughs> do you think that all of a sudden Samantha could be in Paris? <laughs> So, I have a theory that I think at the end of And Just Like That, Kim Cattrall as Samantha Jones is going to make one appearance. All right, because if you're watching, you see they keep texting, Carrie keeps texting Samantha. And yeah. wouldn't it be the biggest pop culture moment of all time if all of a sudden, last episode of the season, boom, Samantha's back? I think that would be, in the words of Paris Hilton, hot. That would be... <laughs> Huge. Yeah, that would yeah. be, it kind of it wants that too. It needs to happen. All right, well, <laughs> finally, I don't remember the first pizza I ever had, but I'm pretty sure it was love at first bite. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's carbs, cheese, and tomato. Why wouldn't it be? But this little baby is going viral on TikTok. Newsweek reports a mom named Steph Kimball posted this video of her daughter Sally taking her first bite of pizza. You cannot even handle. Look oh at how God, cute this is. Look at her. Look at her. Oh my God, no. Can you stand it? Oh my God. Oh, welcome to the club, baby. I uh, mean, come on, Rossi. Can I you am. stand it? Yeah, I can't even. <laughs> Kind of like puts her chin up. Mm, no, mm -hmm. Okay, now eat pizza like Samantha Jones. <laughs> I can't do that on television. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Uh, oh. I'm just saying, oh. this pizza's really doing something. <laughs> I haven't had a hot slice like this. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I don't know if it's the pizza or the Samantha, but I'm happy. <laughs>